Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to add custom icons to your Flutterflow apps. So before we get started, I'm going to show you how to generate the icon files that we need to add to Flutterflow. So for this, we have two options. We have fluttericon.com and icomoon.io. Both are perfectly great and will help you generate your icons. We tend to use Icomoon because it allows us to edit our SVGs within the application, but you can't go wrong with either. And for this video, I'll show you how to do it on Icomoon. So what we'll do is create a new set of icons and we'll give it a name. And now we just need to import our icons. So I will import to set and find my icon and add it. Now, one thing to note is that you may need to edit your SVG so that it's a valid icon. And this means you need to remove anything that's not the icon itself from the SVG. So to do that, we'll go to edit. And as you can see, there's a lot going on here. So we will remove this layer and any additional layer that's not just the icon itself. And then typically what I usually do for consistency is align it and then set the grid to 16 and make it the maximum size so it fits to canvas. And we just give it a name and we're done creating our icon. So now all that's left to do is actually generate our icon file. So we'll select the icons that we want to include We'll add this one and then maybe just a couple others for fun so we can see them all get imported. And then we'll go here to generate font. And now before we hit download, we need to go into the properties and make sure to generate Dart class for Flutter. So this is actually gonna tell us what files and icons we need to bring in. So we'll hit, we'll check this, exit out and hit download. And with that, we have generated the folder. And now we're ready to add these custom icons to our Flutterflow app. So let's go to Flutterflow and let's ignore these tabs. And uh, go to settings and theme. So at the very bottom here, we'll see custom fonts and custom icons. So here's where we'll add our icons. Hit add. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to add the icon file. So that this is the folder that we just downloaded. And you'll find the icon file inside of fonts in this TTF file. So we'll upload that. And now we need to find the Dart file, which is here next to fonts icons.dart. And we can see that we've successfully imported all of these icons. So we'll add icons. And with that, we are pretty much done. We have all of our custom icons inside of Flutterflow. So now I'll just show you how to add these inside of your app. Um, it's how you would add any other icon. So we'll drag this icon on here. And just as usual, you'll see your material icons, font awesome icons. You'll also see a section for custom icons. And this is the row that we added. You'll tap that. And there you have it. We have successfully added our custom icon. We can set it to whatever color we want. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.